The films begins when the gods ruled the earth and subjugated mortals. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, decided to protect them alongside her brave knights, using her cosmo, the power of the stars, to defeat their enemies. Over time, the gods withdrew, becoming myths. However, 18 years later, Athena reincarnated as a defenseless girl, and a golden knight gave his life to protect her. In the present day, Sia is a streakwise boy who lives with the memory of his lost sister. But his memories are interrupted by Cassios, who informs him that it's his turn to fight. As he heads to the ring, Cassios warns him to stop dancing and to fight for real. His opponent is Jackie, the beast, and in the fight there are no rules. Anything goes until one gives up or faints, but whoever surrenders will be banned from the ring. Jackie starts by knocking down the referee to avoid distractions and focuses on Saya, but all he does is dodge his punches, which annoys Cassios. His anger reaches a boiling point, and he decides to enter the ring and with a single kick, he knocks down Jackie and then focuses on Saya. He shows no mercy and punishes him for not obeying. Although Seda tries to fight back, he simply can't. The audience cheers for Cassio's name, while Seiya tries to regain consciousness. Then small memories of his sister come back to him and suddenly the power of the cosmos surges from within him, throwing Cassio's into the air. Cassio's gets up, crowned as the champion, but Sidia also rises and after delivering a hard kick, decides to escape. When Sia is getting ready to leave in the locker room, a man enters and tells him that someone wants to talk to him and that he knows about his past and is looking for his sister. Meanwhile, Cassios makes a call, saying he believes he's found a Cosmo boy. Sayat is directed to a dark and lonely place where Omen Kiddo, a stranger, appears and warns him that the fight has upset many people, and that soon Vander Garad, his ex-wife, who recruits warriors with special abilities for her private army will arrive. Saya must choose whether to accompany him or try to defeat Vander Garad's warriors. He obviously decides to go with Omen, while a soldier tries to give them time, but he can do nothing against Vander Garad's warriors. Then, Almond Kiddo and Sia are chased, but they manage to reach Mylock, who was waiting for them, and thanks to that they manage to reach a car. But even though they thought they were safe, they are pursued by air and several missiles are sent with the intention of stopping them. Their target is to capture Sia, who showed the power of the Cosmo during the fight. As they approach a tunnel, they are hit by a missile, but fortunately, they manage to arrive safely. Saya demands to know what is happening, but Almon Kiddo orders Mylock to knock him out. It turns out that when Saya was a child, his sister hid him in a closet and ordered him not to come out no matter what happened. Suddenly, an explosion occurred and several men with guns entered the room and captured Saya's sister. It's Vander Garad who thanks her for using her cosmos, and in addition to taking it away, decides to take her with him, leaving Saya alone. When he wakes up, he finds himself on a plane with Mylock and Almond Kiddo. Saya is stressed and confused by everything that has happened, and demands an explanation. Almond Kiddo introduces himself and explains that he used to be a successful businessman. He shows him various historical objects, and mentions that Athena has returned in human form, and that Saya's duty is to become one of her guardians. Saya doesn't believe him, so he prepares to leave until Almond Kiddo mentions his sister. This generates interest in Saya and he explains that Vander Garad detected a Cosmos signal where he lived with his sister, and she decided to turn herself in so that Sia wouldn't be captured. He also introduces him to Sienna, the reincarnation of Athena. She hands him a box that contains the key to the Pegasus armor, as without it, he will not be able to defeat Garad's army. Sia finds it hard to believe everything he has heard, so Almond Kiddo suggests they have lunch so they can continue the conversation the next morning. Meanwhile, Nero and Garad arrive at Kazuo's ring and reprimand him for losing Saya. While Saya, Sienna, and Almond Kiddo have lunch, Sienna is impressed by the way Saya stuffs his mouth with food. He then tells her that when you live on the streets, all you do is eat as much as you can, because you don't know when you'll eat again. Suddenly, Mylock enters and calls for Almond Kiddo, leaving Saya and Sienna alone. Saya asks what it feels like to be a goddess, but Sienna explains that she is not one yet, although it is just a matter of time. Saya's indifference to being in the presence of a goddess upsets Sienna, who begins to lose control. Suddenly, everything around her darkens and the power of the cosmos begins to emerge from Sienna. At that moment, Almond Kiddo returns and warns Suya not to come near her, as it could kill him. Saya asks what has happened and Almond Kiddo explains that the cosmos of a goddess is too strong for a mortal body. When sensors detect a cosmic explosion, the building blocks the signal to keep it hidden from Vander Garad. 
keeping Sienna as a prisoner. Meanwhile, Cassios faces off against one of Garad's soldiers. Although the soldier's armor allows him to have greater strength and ability, Cassio's determination not to lose prevents him from giving up. Then, Garad agrees that Cassios is very strong, but not enough to defeat Saya unless they use a prototype that Garad has hidden. Meanwhile, Sidia and Sienna talk alone. Sienna recounts how when she was a baby, they tried to kill her and a golden armored knight gave his life to save her. Almond Kato and Vander Garad found her, but Garad was only interested in the armor technology to create weapons, while Almond Kiddo took care of her like a father. Saya talks about how his sister was gentle and strong and dedicated herself to protecting him. Then they talk about the visions they have. Saya decides that the silver armored knight should train him to learn how to use his cosmos so he can find his sister. At night, Nero and Garad talk about why Cassios is chosen to test the prototype. Vander Garad responds that it's because he couldn't capture Sia during the chase. Nero suggests that he can find out where Sia is with the help of the prisoner, the soldier who helped them escape. In the morning, Sia heads off with the Silver Knight, but before leaving, Sienna stops him to give him some food. They have a moment of romantic tension, but Matlock warns her not to get her hopes up as goddesses don't have boyfriends. Almond Kiddo is also surprised and asks why she gave him food and Sienna responds that it might be his last meal, knowing the Silver Knight. When Sia arrives, he asks Mylock where he should go, and Mylock tells him he must climb a huge and steep mountain. Then Sia starts climbing it in the midst of a terrible storm. And when he's finally about to reach the top, he meets the silver armored knight named Marin. Sia introduces himself as the Pegasus Knight, but Marin says he must be brave, humble, and willing to protect Athena with his life. It's in this third point where Sia has a dilemma, because he's not there to protect Athena, but to find his sister. Then, the Silver Knight refuses to train him, but as Sia asks for a chance, she proposes to break a stone with one blow to train him. As expected, he fails. Then, the Silver Saint explains that everything around him is made of the same atoms, and that a knight can make them explode and destroy any object. Murin asks him to concentrate and feel the cosmos within him, but memories of his little sister cloud his mind and prevent him from breaking the stone. Nevertheless, the Silver Saint decides to train him. Meanwhile, at Vander Garad's building, Cassios comes out transformed into a cyborg, and although he easily defeats the security guards, he can do nothing against Garad. Additionally, Nero has not managed to make his prisoner talk. Meanwhile, Saida's training begins, but his dance doesn't help him much against the Silver Saint, who manages to disappear and reappear and easily defeat him with the power of Cosmos. Then Marin explains that his Cosmos is his weapon, and that he must make it come out like a shooting star. Saya must learn to do it if he hopes to survive the approaching battle. On the other hand, Sienna has a nightmare about the destruction of the world until Almond Kiddo arrives and calms her down. Then, Sienna tells him that she saw people in cities burning. But the worst part is that it was Athena who did it. Meanwhile, Saya's training continues, but he doesn't improve because the knight continues to subdue him. Later, Saya has memories of his sister where she promised to protect her. At night, Sia understands that although there is pain in his past, he must find the necessary strength to face what is coming and not confuse obsession with duty. The next morning, his training improves progressively and as the days pass, Sia improves more and more until he reaches the point where he manages to hit the Silver Knight and destroy the rock. Meanwhile, Nero arrives with his prisoner trying to discover his greatest fear in order to break him. Touching his forehead, he shows him terrifying visions. In the morning, Saya manages to master the power of Cosmos and destroy a rock the same size as him. At that moment, his key transforms into a box and then into the Pegasus armor. However, he suddenly has a strong headache and remembers when Vander Garad took his sister, and among all the memories, he remembers Almond Kiddo, which makes him realize that he was also involved in the kidnapping of his sister. He then decides it's time to leave the island. Saya arrives very angry and demands answers. Then Mylock and Sienna arrive to stop him. Sienna decides to take him out of the house, ignoring the prohibition that she leaves. Sienna tells Saya what happened with her sister. She explains that Almond Kiddo did it for her because when she was a child, she couldn't control the power of her cosmos and destroyed her mother's arms. Almond Kiddo used the golden armor to heal her. But since then, Vander Garad needs cosmos to live and that's why she seeks children like Saya's sister. However, after realizing that Saya's sister didn't have Cosmos, she released her but kept her under surveillance, 
as she knew she was hiding the truth about Saya. Garad is convinced that Athena has returned to destroy the world, and that's why Almon Kiddo abandoned all the children they had captured, including Saya's sister. Meanwhile, Mylock informs Almond Kiddo that Garad is approaching and they will have to escape, while Almond gives them as much time as possible. Sienna makes Suya promise that he will stop her at all costs if she loses control. Garad's ship arrives, forcing them to flee, but Sienna refuses to leave her father behind, so Suya accompanies her back home. An explosion occurs, opening the way for Garad's soldiers, who easily defeat Almond Kiddo's security. Meanwhile, Mylock tries to reach the ship, but several soldiers prevent him, so he is forced to fight them. On the other hand, Garad arrives with her ex-husband Almond, and while they discuss the past, Sana and Sidia arrive. Although Almond Kiddo tries to stop Cassios, he easily defeats him. An intense battle is taking place outside between Saya and Garad's soldiers. However, in the midst of the fight, Cassios appears and Sayad tries to activate his Pegasus armor, but for some strange reason, it doesn't work making it practically impossible for him to defeat Kazios. Meanwhile, Mylock's fight is intense, but he manages to defeat the soldiers one by one. Upon seeing more soldiers approaching, they quickly enter the ship, and Almond Kiddo tries to stop Garad by launching an explosive, but unfortunately, he fails. Sinet is defeated, Almond Kiddo dies, and Sienna is captured in Vander Garad's lair. Santa mourns the death of her father, and Garad regrets having to end his daughter's life to save humanity. Then, Garad orders Nero to begin the process. When Sia regains consciousness, he discovers that Sienna is no longer there and laments, not being able to protect her. He then falls to his knees and has a vision of Marin that makes him reflect on who he really wants to save. Afterwards, Sia sees himself as a child, promising to recover his sister. When he returns to reality, Sia and Mylock head to retrieve Sienna, but when they are close, they are detected by the radar, so Sia is forced to jump. But before doing so, he activates the Pegasus armor, allowing him to land without any problem. Sayadat easily defeats the soldiers until Cassios arrives, who is defeated with a kick. While the process to eliminate Sienna is about to end, Vander Garad regrets and decides to cancel it, although Nero disagrees and refuses to obey his orders. Then, Gurid calls his soldiers to stop Nero, but Nero reveals himself as the Phoenix Knight who was once strong and brave, but was corrupted by evil. He manages to defeat Garad's soldiers, and even though she tries to stop him, Sienna is no match for him when she is forced to fight Nero. And when he is about to finish her off, Sia enters and begins an intense battle between the knights. The blows are so powerful that they break the crystals and destroy the buildings. Both knights have a clash of powers that causes an explosion, while Garad, with his last remaining strength, tries to stop the process of eliminating Sienna. At that moment, Athena emerges from Sienna's body and even though the Phoenix Knight tries to stop her, he is thrown into the air. Then Sienna manages to communicate with Saya and reminds him of the promise he made, forcing him to stop her at any cost. Saya, with difficulty, approaches her and makes her see that no fate is written, not even hers. Then Sienna manages to take control and stop Athena. When the storm stops, Saya has Sienna in his arms and helps her up. But before leaving, Garad apologizes for not trusting her and Sienna with the power of the cosmos, returns her mother's hands to her, demonstrating that she has learned to control her powers. As Sienna and Mylock leave, Noda observes the damage they caused, watched by Nero. In the end, Saya discovers that the awakening of Athena will attract the ancient gods and they will be forced to find the other knights to stop them. But first, they must find Saya's sister.